what is your fear about your husband having COVID-19 behind bars? Um, I have a fear that when I get a phone call and I think that it's going to be him on the other end, it's not. And it's going to be someone that works there letting me know he didn't make it. Megan Hallett Ragg's husband, Troy, is an inmate at Fort Dix Federal Prison in Burlington County in a quarantine unit of 200 plus inmates. She says Troy has multiple underlying health ailments that put his life at greater risk with his COVID-19 infection. Every chance he gets, he tells me, Megan, um, I can't stop coughing and it makes it hard to breathe. I'm coughing up blood because I'm coughing so much. Um, a nurse said she was going to try to get me cough medicine and then she was now told she's not allowed to. They said they're going to let it run its course. COVID-19 has inmates at the federal Fort Dix prison in Burlington County fearing for their lives. In October, inmate James Arbell wrote, I was given a prison sentence, not a death sentence. It is the responsibility of the Bureau of Prisons to keep me safe through the duration of my incarceration. Arbell said his health conditions put him at greater risk of death if he contracted the virus. He says to outsiders, it appeared the prison was doing the right thing. But Arbell wrote, the COs who count at night frequently do not wear a mask while walking into each room. Some COs vape even inside the building. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus, and if I can smell the vapors, I know that they could also contain the coronavirus. He said none of the men were sentenced to death or, you know, they, they're, they, you know, their sentences allowed them to eventually come home, not possibly die from COVID. Nicole Barnes' fiancé is serving nine years for a drug conviction in the low-security Fort Dix Federal Prison of 2,700 inmates. She's launched a Facebook page to advocate for the safety of the inmates and their immediate release. The infections are growing, zero in early October. Now the Bureau of Prisons webpage shows, as of Thursday, 214 Fort Dix inmates have COVID-19. I don't trust the numbers. The U.S. Supreme Court ordered the BOP to reduce the population at the Elkton, Ohio prison because conditions were dangerous amid a devastating outbreak, which by then, COVID had killed nine inmates. In October, the BOP transferred some of those Elkton inmates to Fort Dix. The ACLU says its clients behind Fort Dix's bars report the medical care is substandard. We've been told that a town hall was held and the clinical director said, we have to ride it out. That's what we've been hearing from numerous sources. We have to ride out COVID-19. In the spring, the U.S. Attorney General directed federal prisons to come up with a compassionate release home confinement program. The Bureau of Prisons has not responded to our request for information about that. A lot of people were denied and the denials were based on the fact that they were going to be able to maintain the inmates' health but hello. The ACLU sounded the alarm in May about an outbreak at Fort Dix Prison. Unfortunately, we did not prevail in our litigation. Um, and today's reality is the proof. Um, I think that our clients were right. They tried to say BOP take care of us. The BOP has failed to. Michael Hill, NJ Spotlight News.